What's happening, Polch Pals? I'm in my car again. You know what that means. We're gonna go searching for some Pokemon cards. Today, I'm gonna go back to that same swap meet and see if I can trade some of my duplicate shinies from Shining Fates for some vintage cards. Let's go see what we can find. Look at that, so many vintage cards, bunch of first editions for some great prices. We're gonna go ahead and grab these ones right here and let's check out this binder. Mostly new stuff, looks like some wizard's cards, but we're gonna pass on this. Let's keep looking around. All right, we are at the Ultimate Spice Gaming booth, and right now they have this awesome game going on. You throw the dice from an ETB pack, and whatever all of the dice add up to, you win the corresponding pack or card. And if you roll a 30, you win a booster box. We're gonna play for a pack today and see if we can win some Shining Fates. Let's do this. All right, let's see. Can we get some Shining Fates? Let's add them up here. All right, it's looking like, it's looking like 19. Did we win? 19 Shining Fates, we won, we did it. Let's see if we can pull something. Let's rip it right now. All right, Shining Fates pack, here we go. Let's rip this right here and see what we got. Code card for ya. All right, water energy. We got a Dartrix, Rusted Sword, Floatzel, Morpico, Snome, Horsey, Nicket, Eevee. Ah, Yanma in our shining spot. Oh, wow, that was a lot of fun though. Non hollow Celebi. All right, now we're gonna see if we can take some of these duplicate shinies that I've pulled from Shining Fates and some other sets too, and see if we can trade them for some that I'm missing from Shining Fates and also some unlimited hollows I'm missing from base set. So we're gonna take these score bunnies, this Urshurfu VMAX, the coffee, and we're gonna trade them for these cards I'm missing from Shining Fates here. And we're also gonna use the leftover store credit for a unlimited Zapdos and Clefairy. Let's look around the rest of the swap meet. It is so hot out here, but we were able to make some really cool trades. Let's go home, check them all out, and open some stuff up. All right, what another awesome weekend walking around the swap meet. Even though it was 100 degrees out there, we still checked out a ton of booths and were able to find some fun stuff. The first thing I grabbed was this Pokemon Master Trainer game. Now, this thing it looks pretty cool. It's in not the greatest shape. It's a little sun faded, but it looks like it has most of the pieces still inside. It's got the main game board. It's got the little spinning wheel and a lot of the little character cards and the damage counters. And I think the front of the box just looks really cool even though it's a little banged up. It's something I'm gonna try to fit somewhere on the collection shelf behind me. After we grabbed this board though, we found another cool little booth that had a bunch of really awesome first edition cards for only a few bucks a piece. We were actually able to pick up all of these cards for $30. And I think that's probably pretty fair price for what they would be. Uh, I was pretty surprised to find the first edition Rocket Charmanders for like nine bucks a piece and they're actually in really like decent shape too. No whitening on the back, little little small blemishes on the edges on one of them, but they're gonna look really awesome in a binder. Then we headed over to the Ultimate Spice gaming booth where we played a really awesome dice game to win a pack of Shining Fates. Didn't pull anything out of it, but the experience of it was a total blast. We took some of the duplicate Shinies that I've been pulling on the show and we traded them for some of the Shinies that I'm still missing from the binder. So I grabbed this Toxtricity V, the Rillaboom V, the Centiscorch V Max. Then with some of the credit left over from the Shinies that I traded, 
picked up this base set unlimited Clefairy in really great shape. I'm really happy with this one. It's gonna look awesome in the binder. And also picked up this Zapdos Hollow. Little bit of play damage to it, but again, just for a binder, it's gonna look really, really awesome. So I'm happy, another successful weekend to the swap meet. But you know we gotta rip some packs too, cause there's tons of cards that I'm missing from these binders. So I got some battle styles. We're gonna try to redeem ourselves with this Blissey tin. If you saw me open some of these tins before, you know they didn't have the greatest pull rates, but I got a good feeling about this one. And as always, we gotta rip some Shining Fates cause we need to fill up that shiny binder. The channel is on the road to 6K. So if you haven't already, drop a like, drop a sub, and let's rip into these packs. All right, let's start out with this Blissey tin. Now, I've opened about five of these already, and I gotta tell you, they do not have the greatest pull rates. I picked this one up from Rite Aid. You can find them at Walgreens and CVS also, but it seems like Rite Aid and Walgreens have the best price on it. I will be happy with literally any any pull whatsoever from this tin because like i said i think i opened up four or five of them and it was nearly all green codes or just like one hollow so let's see if we can get a little redemption on the pulls today there's a code card for you for a blissey tin it's going to come with crimson invasion burning shadows and sun and moon base all right let's start out with the sun and moon base and we'll save the Burning Shadows for last. The notoriously hard to pull from Burning Shadows. And we'll do four to the front. Sun and Moon Base, what do you got for us? Water Energy. We've got Hypno, Snowball, Sandile, Pepe Peck, Carvana, Togen Tomorrow, Skarmy for our reverse, and Alolan Hollow Muck. Okay, we'll put you on the pull pile because you are technically a hollow. And let's do the Crimson Invasion. Can we get a Gyarados? Can we get a full art Gyarados? Technically though, there's the Pokey Shake. Technically though, I guess we did get at least one hit out of this tin and it was a hollow, as I predicted. Lucky Leaf, but let's see if we can get at least one more. Counter Energy, we've got a Geo Geodude Stuffle. Star you. Our reverse is a dashing pouch and non hollow Houndoom, although that is one of the coolest Houndoom artworks that there is. That's very awesome. Can we go last pack magic on the Blissey Tin with some Burning Shadows? Oh, Pokey Shake. Oh, Pokey Shake. I don't know. Notoriously hard to pull anything from Burning Shadows. All right. Electric Energy. We got a Guzma. Soul Rock. We've got Charmander, Sneasel, Alolan Grimer, Ralts, Alolan Vulpix. Reverse is a Charmeleon and a non holo Lydian for our rare. All right, let's move on to some battle styles. I got three battle styles blisters here. Now, my experience with the blisters has been better than like the collection boxes and stuff like that for battle styles. And I've heard a lot of other people kind of say the same. They've opened a few booster boxes and haven't had as good as luck as they've had with just some single blisters. So let's see. Would be happy with any of the alternate arts from this set. The Tyranitar would be really cool. Any of the Tyranitars, especially the Shurfu Rapid Strike, would be really awesome alt art to pull. We've got Remoraid. Tower of Waters for our reverse. Can we get a hit? There we go, Flapple VMAX, and this is a brand new VMAX pull for me. I'm really happy with it. I think Flapple is a pretty cool modern Pokemon. Not the greatest centering on this one, but pretty awesome nonetheless, adding a new VMAX to the binder. Let's pop you in a sleeve. Bam, Flapple VMAX. And we got two more packs of Battle Styles. I kind of like, uh, I don't know, I kind of like that better pull rate out of the, the blisters. It's been a little easier to find the blisters. Why is the Pokey Shake so bad today? I must feel, I must feel like a big, big pull is coming. I know my allergies were destroying me out at the swap meet, which to me doesn't make any sense because it's summer. Should be all good by now, but it's getting brutal. Electabuzz reverse and non hollow pavilion for our rare. All right, one more pack of battle styles. 
one VMAX pull though already from Battle Styles, so I'm happy with that. And then, you know, we gotta get into these Shining Fates. Try to add some Shinies to the binder. Bam, code card. Pokey Shake is bad today. Okay, here we go. Shake it out, shake it out. Oh, shake the camera. All right, Psychic Energy. We got a Bisharp, Weeping Bell, Phoebe, Electabuzz, Ball Toy, Gilgar, Salandent, Bronzor, Murkrow in the cemetery for our reverse, and a Stoutland V for our rare. All right, not bad. Two hits out of the three uh, Battle Styles blister packs. Now let's get into some Shining Fates. We got another Pikachu V box. One of the ones from the launch week where they all were showing up without the glue finished on the side. A lot of people leave those on the shelf because they're they think it's been open. They're worried that it's been returned or resealed, but nope, that's just how it shipped. So I enjoy buying those ones. I feel like I have better luck with them. I don't want to jinx it though. Pikachu V promo. We'll pop you in a sleeve and put you on the pull pile. Even though you're not really a pull, you're just a promo. And another jumbo Pikachu V card. Four packs of Shining Fates. And one code card for you. Get you a Pikachu V. Can we add some more Shinies to the binder today? I thought it was really cool that we were able to trade some duplicate Shinies for some Shinies that we were missing and then have some store credit left over to grab a Vintage card. That was pretty cool. Trading Modern for Vintage always feels really good. All right. What do you got for us, Pikachu V-Box? Fire Energy, Dartrix, Floatzel, Rusted Sword, Trepinch, Rowlet, Gotta Nick It, Shanks, Cacnea, Team Yeltal in our shiny spot, and non hollow Zarud for the first pack. Dragapult pack artwork. Do you have something for us? Let's see. Oh, Pokey Shake. Here we go. Can that be the pulls? <laughs> All right. Four to the front. I definitely uh, held the Pokeball in my hand for a good five minutes before doing this opening. If you saw the last video, something about that thing is lucky. I don't know. Spinner Rack, Cufant. Rowlet, Gossip Floor, Gossip Floor again in our shiny spot, and a non hollow professor's research. Pikachu V Box, you gotta have at least one hit for us. Bam, code card. And we got four more to the front. Psychic Energy, Team Yell Towel, Ball Guy, Tropius, Gossip Floor, Coughing, More Pico, More Peco, Choodle, Rowlet. Milkree, there we go. Shiny Milkree for our at least first hit from this Pikachu V box. Can we go double non hollow bosses orders? All right, at least we pulled one shiny today. Bam, onto the pile. Can we go last pack magic? Corviknight pack art from the Pikachu V box. What do you got for us? Last code card. I don't know, these Pikachu V boxes are pretty hit and miss. Fire energy, it feels like you're gonna either get a stacked one or nearly an empty one. Choodle, more Pico, more Peko, more Pico. Yanma, Grookey, Nicket. Ah, oh, reverse bosses orders in our shiny spot and a hollow Luxray for our rare. But you know, the real fun is just in getting to open the pack. So as always, Pulch Pals, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like, drop a sub. I post a new one every Wednesday and every Saturday. But until then, be safe, have fun, keep collecting, and I'll see you in these next videos.